Hello everyone, how are you? Dollar Currency 21 is here again. We want to talk about how to find your entry and exit point based on Ichimoku, which is an amazing indicator. This is our Twitter account. Go and follow us, Dollar Currency 21. There is a lot of educational content in this account and we will update the chart and markets uh, based on daily. Uh, follow us and you will learn a lot of things, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, Ichimoku developed by Goichi Hasoda, uh, which is a Japanese guy, in 1930, so it's pretty ancient indicator. He started about this indicator and he set up for more than 30 years and in 1960 he wrote a book about uh, Ichimoku and uh, for more than two, three decades, tra Japanese traders trade based on Ichimoku secretly. Okay, so it's it's really amazing and powerful indicator. Uh, to add it to the chart, you have to go to the indicator section and type Ichimoku Cloud. Here, there's a lot of uh, uh, indicators based on the Ichimoku. We, we want this one, Ichimoku Cloud. So add it to your favorite and click on that and it will add to your chart. For the first time when it's added to your chart, you will see a messy indicator on your chart, but don't worry, we will explain all, all of these lines and uh, clouds and these kind of things one by one. Okay, so first thing first, Ichimoku developed based on the uh, uh, traditional uh, Japanese market, and uh, in traditional Japanese market, we have 26 trading days in a month okay so for uh, holiday for 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 sunday yeah and uh, 26 working day in each month okay so we have to go uh, to the settings and we have to go to the inputs and change these numbers these 26 is 26 working day in each month based on the japan's market but as we know, uh, cryptocurrency is a 24-7 market. You can trade Bitcoin even uh, on, on, on Christmas Day. Sunday, Saturday, there's no difference for crypto. You have a market, uh, an open market every day and every hour. So we have to change these numbers, okay? So I'm going to change it to uh, these numbers. Change it with me. 20. 60 120 and 30. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, uh, change it again. Look at the background, look at these uh, lines and these uh, the clouds. When I change the numbers, they are changed. Look 20, 60, 120 and 30. okay? So when we change this the, the, the position of these lines, will be changed. The next thing is we have to go to the style and we want to change these colors because uh, uh, in the box you will see different colors and different uh, styles. Okay, so first uh, line is conversion line, but the Japanese name is Tenken Sen. Learn the Japanese name because most of the professional traders and uh, uh, trading technical analysis books use the Japanese name, okay? So the Tenken Sen or conversion line, we have to change it to the green here and you can increase the opacity. Also, you can increase the thicknesses for better visual. The next line is baseline or Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen, I'm going to use purple. I'm going to go to the opacity and increase the thickness. Kijun Sen, okay, or baseline. The third line is lagging span or uh, uh chiku span the japanese name is chiku span i'm gonna use a cyan line okay you can go to the settings and you can increase the thickness also uh, the uh, next line is leading span a or senko span a the next line is leading span b or senko span b okay here uh, we have the como cloud or plots background the como cloud these uh, shaded uh, areas here uh, I'm going to increase the opacity and uh, 
uh, sharp sharpness and opacity here i'm gonna increase the opacity here for better visual and the red cloud increase the opacity also sharpness for better visual here and you have uh, and uh, if you check it here at the bottom there is labels on the right side of your uh, price axis okay it's annoying so i'm gonna uncheck these labels okay and i'm gonna save it as a default click on the ok and uh, as you can see this is a uh, this is a uh, first look when, when you add Ichimoku to your charts okay uh, I'm gonna explain these lines one by one so pay attention here go to the settings I'm gonna uh, uncheck all of these lines and I'm gonna just keep the Kijun Sen or baseline Kijun Sen or baseline okay so what's the Kijun Sen or baseline here I'm gonna write it for you the name is Kijun Sen it acts as a support or resistance it depends on the uh, location relative to the price okay it's strong it's a slow okay so Kijun Sen is a support or resistance and it's a strong support or resistance and it's a slow one okay whenever you had a flat Kijun Sen that act as a support or resistance okay so uh, when, whenever you have a flat Kijun Sen you can uh, draw a line and say that's a support or resistance if the Kijun Sen is Below the current price, it acts as a support. Here, currently, the current price is here at $30,000 and Kijun Sen is around $25,000 in a daily time frame. Okay, so we know that Kijun Sen acts as a support. So I'm uh, arguing that this level, $25,000, is a very strong support for us. Okay. If the price break the Kijun Sen to the upside, that means that means uh, we are bullish. So above the Kijun Sen, we are bullish. Below the Kijun Sen, we are bearish. Okay, here as you can see in this section here, in this area, price broke the Kijun Sen to the upside. So that's one of the signs and indicators that telling us that we have to be bullish okay so when the price broke the Kijun Sen we expect continuation to the upside okay just look at this uptrend if someone buys base here I'm not gonna tell you whenever price broke the Kijun Sen to the upside go and buy no this is wrong okay this is one of the signs that telling you you have to be bullish but look here when the price broke the Kijun Sen, you have to be bullish until price break it to the downside, which was which was here in this level here. Let me copy that here for you. Here is the section that price broke the Kijun Sen to the downside, and we have to be bearish. Okay, so around uh, three hundred and sixty percent profit just based on this single indicator. Okay. Whenever price broke the Kijun Sen to the downside, like this area, you have to be bearish. We broke it to the downside, okay? We are bearish. We back above it. We couldn't hold that level and we broke it to the downside again. So this level is the area that you have to be bearish here. We broke it and we remained below this level, okay? We are bearish, bearish until here, okay? So 28% just based on this indicator. Here, for example, we broke the Kijun Sen to the downside and we remained and we remain bearish here. We broke it to the downside, we remain bearish until this area. Okay, so this whole area you have to be bearish. This whole area you have to be bullish in this area. Okay. So whenever you broke the, the Kijun Sen to the upside or downside, you have to choose whether it's a bullish trend or bearish trend here. 
we broke the key joints into the downside, so it's a bearish phase for you. Okay, here right now, currently, if you see, we broke the key joints in. We broke the key joints into the upside here, so you have to be bullish. Okay, here we broke it to the downside. It was a fake out. Okay, we will talk about it later. But here we broke it, we broke back and closed above the key joints again, so you have to be bullish here. As long as price remains above the key joints, you remain bullish. Okay, so above the 25,000 on a daily time frame, you have to be bullish on Bitcoin charts. Okay, right now. The second thing which is important for key joints is. Whenever you have a flat Kijunsen, you can draw support or resistances. Okay, so I'm using this. And whenever I see a flat Kijunsen, I'm drawing a line and that's my support. We are in a daily time frame, so that will be a daily support. Why is it daily support? Because it's below the current price. Okay, you can copy that and say this is also a daily support for you. Also, this is a daily support for you. This is a daily support for you, okay? And if the flat key Jensen be very long, so the larger or the, the, the bigger the flat key Jensen, the stronger the support or resistances, okay? So this is a tiny and small flat key Jensen. So the, this daily support is uh, weaker compared to this one, for example. So $18,500 is pretty strong support for us okay or for example this one twenty thousand dollars is stronger than this one okay but you can say that these two are also a uh, so daily support instead of these two lines because these are very uh, close to each other you can draw a box and say for example this is my support zone here okay these two are as a Act as a support zone for you and you can put it at the bottom this is a support area also this is a flat key Jensen for you so it's a daily support also yeah daily support and to draw uh, more support or resistances you can go back to the history here for example we have a flat key Jensen, which is a daily support for us. Also, this one is a flat key Jensen, daily support for us. Yeah. This one is above the current price. So it act this one. Let me zoom in for you. Let me delete this one. Okay. Here we have a tiny flat key Jensen. So it act as a daily resistance for us. Why? Because it's above the current price. This is a price. We are above it. So it will be daily resistance for us yeah we have a gap here there is a gap here and we know that when you have a gap it acts as an elevator the next daily support resistance which was here you can say this is also a resistance also these tiny are resistances and you can draw for example a box here for yourself and say this is also your resistance wall here okay here next one you have here look here daily resistance daily resistance look in one glance just based on the key Jensen, you can find where is your support where is your resistances we are a daily time frame okay so i draw the daily resistances for myself you can go in a four hour time frame. Let me jump on the four hour time frame. So I'm typing four H on a uh, keyboard. Okay, and I'm clicking on the enter. Here we are in a four hour time frame and you can find several different support and resistances. Here, this is my, for example, daily, uh, excuse me, four hour support. This is my four hour support, okay? Also, you can say that this is also another four hour support. This is another four hour support and you can base on these uh, levels, you can find which one is four hour support, which one is uh, daily support. And with one glance, let me jump back into the daily time frame. With one glance, you can find out where is the price. Okay. And 
whether if broke a support or break a resistance okay uh, in next uh, in next uh, video we will talk about Tenkinson and other lines see you guys bye I'm walking alone the streets are empty the only thing I can see is my own silhouette